in, in this class. So I don't know whether you all have the uh, syllabus booklet with you that I have given you or whether you have one with you. So I want to quickly show you just this is just for your your reference. You always have to know you always have to have the syllabus with you. You always have to uh, make sure that we have covered everything and we are going according to the syllabus. You have to check it too. Okay. So I want you to be aware of this content that we are supposed to cover in each of these topics. So I'm showing you 3.2 logarithmic and exponential functions in, um, in P3. Uh, so we are, we are actually in the third bullet point. This is, this is a short section. We are in the third bullet point. Uh, use logarithms to solve equations and inequalities in which the unknown appears in indices, right? Uh, and then one more to go to, to finish up this topic. Um, uh, so what the reason why I'm showing you this is because the topic I gave you, if you look at the topic that I gave you, the last topic that we started, uh, was, was, uh, solving, solving, what's, what's the topic I gave you? Can someone tell me what's the topic that you put? The big topic solving what? Hmm? Solving what? Ah, you are somebody's right. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. What did I do? I did something. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the what is back? Oh, the oh, black yeah. box? Yeah, 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 that thing is going back. Now it's gone, now it's gone. Now it's gone, oh my God, okay. Is this what you put? Let's see what you're saying. Is, it, is the black box there? No. No, okay. Solving exponential and log, that's right, right, Hatfi? This is, this is the uh, topic I gave, solving exponential and logarithmic equations. I have included logarithmic equations as well here. Uh, this used to be there in your syllabus. Now in, in your syllabus, that part is not there, but I've included it here. Uh, I, um, let's see. Okay. There are, I, I doubt whether they will, uh, even though they have not said it here, uh, in the syllabus now, um, I have a doubt whether they still want this to be included. Um, so we will stick to just exponential equations. Uh, we will see, okay? So they, they do not, you do not have logarithmic equations. You do not have that, okay? So anyway, we started the subtopic we started. Miss, yes? Miss, do we have transformation of exponential equations? Like how yeah. do we change the... Of course, I mean, no, that is not a separate topic. You have, you, you have learned transformation, uh, transformations of functions. That is in P1. And oh, so that includes that, exponential. Yes. Now, whenever you whenever you learn a new type of function, right? Now it's like this. Okay. Let, I'm glad you asked that question, Malit. Uh, I I wanted to talk about that. Uh, now in P1, under functions topic, we learned function transformations. Right? We learned ba three uh, three categories, three types of three basic types of or three main types of transformations. Number one, shifting. They are called translations. So they're under translations, there are four types. You can try shift this way, shift that way, shift up, shift down. I mean, if you want to break it down into even more categories, you can think of it as, as having four types. So there are four types of translations. And then you learn reflections. You can reflect it on the y-axis. You can reflect on the x-axis. So two types of reflections. And then you learned uh, squashing and expanding. That they are called dilations. Uh, so you can have a compression uh, in the horizontal direction. Get, uh, your, your graph getting thinner or fatter. Or your graph getting shorter and, or taller. This way, this way dilation or this way dilation. So those are the three types. Translations, reflections, dilations. Now you learned that in P1 functions, okay, under function transformation. Then after that, we learned different types of functions. When we did trigonometry, for example, you came across trigonometric functions. You learned the y equals sine x function. 
you equal you learned y equals cos x function now uh, when you learn a new function you have to know how those can be transformed because you have already learned how to how transform transformations of functions happen that should you have to be able to apply to any new function that you learn so for example we learned logarithmic function and exponential function last week that's the exponential function that's the logarithmic function now for those two functions you have to know if you want how to shift it by adding a number to x or by adding a number to y or how to reflect it by changing the sign of x or by changing the sign of y right uh, dilations won't it won't show up in a because it's it's just a line you can you can't see a compression or a, a expansion in 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 those graphs those are visible only in uh, trigonometric functions because they have a they have a height so you can see how the height changes and they have a width kind of thing that where you can see whether it's getting fatter or thinner but but with uh, exponential and logarithmic graphs dilations don't you know they are not visible but you know so remember uh, um, th those you have to know okay uh, they, they are not separately learning about it again every time we learn a function we are not going to go back and discuss how we can transform these functions you have to know that uh, but if you need we can discuss it if you want it you just let me know and we can quick we can like allocate a little bit of time just to uh, talk about those okay so what i was saying was uh, even though i have put a big topic here solving exponential and logarithmic logarithmic equations and i took the first subtopic under that as solving exponential equations that is only a thing that you have anyway in the syllabus you don't have solving logarithmic equations if i feel like i might just for the just just so that i mean i feel like it's not the, not a complete um topic then because the, the topic is exponential logarithmic and exponential functions you are learning of, about both so when it comes to equations it's only fair that you know how to solve both kinds of equations it doesn't make sense why they just uh, kept one 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 part anyway so we'll continue with this we we uh, we learned um, one method and then the second method we looked at one example under this right so this method 2 is the is the method right because you are using logarithms to solve these exponential functions you are using your um, knowledge that exponentials and exponentials and logarithms are inverses to get rid of the expo exponential form in these equations so by by taking log on both sides of the equation you are kind of canceling canceling or reversing the exponential exponential form and you are bringing that x down um, as a as a technique to solve for x so that's what we did last let's look at a second example so this is the one that you did uh here's another example now i want to try out this new thing i'm going to write on i'm not going to type i can type on the you let me know which works best for you now i can now second example when i work that out i can do it on the whiteboard on zoom where i write uh on the screen you are familiar with that or i can do it like how i have done it here on the word document itself by typing it that's another method now today i am going to do a different method different thing out of the three you let me know which one uh, works best for you okay so here's the third method see whether i i don't know whether how, how this is going to even work i'm going to go to a new screen now do you all see this do you see a paper Say yes or something. Ah, okay. So I'm I'm actually going to write there. Okay, I look so dark. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so this is example two. Uh, there might be a little lagging. I don't know whether it is lagging. So you let me know. Okay. Here's your example two. Two to the power of four. y now your unknown is y here 4y plus 1 that whole thing is in the uh, in the exponent uh, see it goes out of uh, focus sometimes no you let me know whether it is, whether it is not 
not very effective. 3 to the power of y equals 0. Here's your equation that you have to solve. So this is solved. We have to solve for y. Okay. And we have two terms, two terms, exponential form terms. And in both terms, you have y in the exponent. Okay, now this, we, are, we are going to use that second method here. Now, what do you think we can do? Can we straight away just, uh, just take log on both sides here? Or should we do a little rearranging before we do that? What do you think we can do? Let's try out things, okay? What do you think we should do here? So you have 2 to the power of 4y plus 1. There is a y there in the exponent. And then minus, again, 3 to the power of y. So two, two uh, terms in index form or exponential form. And in the two terms, the bases are different. This is 2 to a power. This is 3 to a power. And your y, your unknown, is in the power. Do you want to try out something? Do you have a, have a suggestion for me? I will do it and let's work, it, work, work on this together um, to see how we can tackle this. What do you think we should do first? Now, I'm not saying, I'm asking you. you so, somebody has to say something. Are you all there? Am I talking just to a screen? Yes, miss. Yes, my lip. Yeah. Uh, did you not hear me? Did you lose me? Oh, no. Yeah, for a while I got a connection issue. Now it's back. Okay. I can see you. Make a question. Okay. Miss? Yes. Miss? Yes. Miss? Yes, Nathan? Uh, was this, uh, your line was laggy and uh, you got... You got disconnected and when I came back, uh, you all come here, miss. Oh, okay. Did everyone... But, uh, did I miss anything, miss? Did everyone lose me like that? For a moment here. Okay, so what I, uh, I, I, I asked a question. This is the second example, second equation we are looking at under method two. I was asking you, what do you think that we mm -hmm. can do here? No, now the method we, the method that we are learning in this, uh, this method ah, miss, is taking long. Miss, uh, we can. Uh, hmm. Miss, we can uh, t we can take uh, minus uh, three y to the other side. Okay, Nathan, that's very good. That is the right thing to do here. Now you have you have y in both terms. Y is here and here. Let me take this term to the other side. Okay. So I will have 2 to the power of 4y plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of y. Miss, this is a new camera thing. <laughs> it's, that's the, that's, this is called? Yeah, this yeah is, it's kind of lagging though. Oh, is it lagging? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's, uh, but it's but nice. It's, yeah, it's good. It's uh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. way more okay. better than the virtual whiteboard. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, right? Oh, everything makes sense. because it's Exactly. <laughs> Is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Glad to see it is done by hand. What's that? Glad to see your handwriting back. Ah, me too. I'm seeing my handwriting after a long time. I've not been writing much anyway. Uh, right. So I did what Nathan suggested to do. I took the 3 to the power of y term to the other side. Now what can you do? Now you can take log on both sides. Now when I say take log on both sides, we discussed this last week, you can take log of base, log of any base, but we take log of base 10 or log of base e, which is ln. Why? Because that's the two uh, logarithms that are available in our calculator. But finally, we have to work it out now. We have to We'll compute it, then we need to actually have a calculator where we, we can find log of base, whatever the base that we use. So since our calculators have log base 10 and log base e, 
uh, when I say take log on both sides, what I'm saying is either take log base 10 or ln on both sides. Okay. It doesn't matter which base you take. So shall we take uh, ln? I don't know. So let's all, I think I, I, I told you that we'll all stick to ln. So I'm going to take ln on both sides. Let me do that in a different color. So ln of this and ln of that, right? That's my other color. Now what happens? So when you take ln, I, ha I have taken ln on both sides. Now I can use that uh, log rule. When you have a power like that, it can, it can be brought to the front. And that the whole point the of front. taking ln here is so that we can bring that down, okay? Uh, so what, you, what will happen here is I will get 4y plus 1, the whole power there, it will come to the front like the coefficient and then ln 2 is equal to y ln 3. Now this is a normal equation. You don't have any indices now. It's just a normal equation. Remember this ln 2 here is just a number. This ln 3 here is just a number. So this is a simple equation. Now you can solve this for y. So let me remove this bracket first. Um, because I have a y term here and a y term here, right? I, I need to bring all the y terms to one side. So let me remove this bracket. I will get 4y. Uh, okay, wait. I will put, because ln 2 is a number. 4y ln 2. 4 ln 2y. No, no, no. Um, ln 2y. I, I left a little space there. So 4 ln 2 is like the coefficient of that y, okay? I hope that is clear. Does that confuse you? Does that confuse you? 4y times ln 2. This ln 2 is a number. Uh, yes, miss. Uh, let me see. Okay, let me write 4y ln 2 then. Is that okay? Plus yeah, that's better. ln 2 is equal to y ln 3. Right? Then I will bring the, the terms containing y. This term contains y. This term contains y. So this term I will bring to this side. 4y ln 2 minus y ln 3 is equal to this. I will take to the other side. Minus. Got stuck miss? now? Yes, got stuck now. Yes, miss. Uh, I'm back now, right? It got stuck. So maybe it's because of this software. Yes, miss, but just a lagging. And there's a lagging, yeah. So let's continue for a little bit more and we will see if it is very bad, we will not. You, it, it all depends on your feedback. You tell me whether we, we, we should do continue with this new thing or go back to... <laughs> okay. Uh, this new thing is better, miss. New thing is better, okay. Okay, so hope this line is clear. And uh, miss, uh, what's this your... Miss, we can hear you, but your video is stuck. Oh, is it? Shall I just take off my video altogether? Yes, miss. Let me just no. think. No? This is okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't miss. have a lag though in your video, miss. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Uh, I also prefer if you can see me because, you know, you, you feel like when I'm talking to you, just it's always better to see somebody talking to you than just hearing. Uh, and also I, I, I animate things with my hands, right? So I want you, I want you to see that. Um, so I'll, I'll keep it. Let, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, are we stuck? Okay, no, you can see me. Okay. So now I will take this Y out. I will take this Y out, factor it out from these two terms. So here comes the Y out of these two terms. I get 4 ln 2 minus ln 3 equals minus ln 2. Okay. And then one more step. Y is equal to minus ln 2 divided by 4 ln 2 minus ln 3. And now you have to take your calculators and enter this whole thing into your calculator and compute it. And can you tell me what the answer is? Uh, 
What's the answer? Minus zero point four one four zero seven two two. I think it's a. It looks like it's a irrational number. If you leave your answer this way, it would be the exact answer. Okay, so you you might as well leave that as the answer. But if you want the answer to like three significant figures, you can give it like that up to there. Okay. So, um, did everyone understand that? This is how you use logarithms to solve equation, to bring the x or whatever the unknown down from the power to bring it down. So, the, in the, this is a step where it happens. The, when you take ln on both sides, in the next step, the power comes down. The power comes down. Okay. That's where the magic happens. Uh, is this clear? Can I give you a third example? Can I let you do on your own? Okay, miss. Okay, so here's okay, your example miss. three. Example three. Solve. Uh, what do I have? E to the power of t plus 6, t plus 6 is in the power, equals 2. Can you solve this for t? Solve this for t. And I would love it if someone can, after you do this, if someone can switch on the video and like show, show us the work for everyone to see. Then we can discuss that. This takes only a few steps. Like three, four steps. While you work on this, I'm going to see who's here today. Because, you know, um, Dimandi is here, Dinet is here, Hatsi, Joanne, Karvin. Be glad to see all the girls here. Uh, uh, Malit, Nathan, Nethni, and Rachel. Nice to have the all the girls are here. Sasindu, Tarindu. Who's missing? That's Mihil. Miss, shall I show my workings? Yes, please. Miss, I really don't know where Mihil is, though. I thought he said he was coming. He said he was coming? No, he, he didn't like say he wasn't going to come. Because... Okay, that which, okay, which implies that he was going to come. Yeah, hey, maybe. Do uh, I turn my camera? He... All right. He did say that he uh, had an uh, has an internet issue. Oh, okay. So maybe it's that. Mm. Okay, so Nathan, are you showing us your work? Miss, can you see my working? No. Yeah. I can't. Okay, I think it's coming. No, I still can't. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I have to. I have to stop sharing this. Ah, now okay. So you take, uh, oh, that's nice. What is the six? What is it? Lon six? That's E. Have you not made a mistake? 
Nathan. T plus six ln, not wait, six ln e. I'm sorry. Let me see. Is Miss. Uh, yeah. Wait. Shit. Ah, uh, no. Okay, can sorry. you tell us? I'm very sorry, Miss. But uh, uh, apart from that, your uh, the rest of the work is correct. You you've written six for e. Can someone else show me the work if you can? Anyone else is able to do the same thing? Uh, switch on your camera and like show me your work. You have to hurry up. Can't? Then I will do it. No, 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 miss, miss, give me a second. Okay. Give me okay. a second. I, I think I got it. Okay. Miss, I'm kind of short on internet, so like I have to keep my data. Yes, it's okay. I understand. No, no worries. So you can't okay. put on your. It's fine, Malik. I understand. I'm afraid you'll see my height <laughs> terrible. Oh, I would love to. Where, where? Show us. <laughs> So I think Hatpi is going to show his work and we are going to see his hair, <laughs> grown hair, I think. <laughs> Hatpi, come on. There are no strangers here. You, you know all the people in this group. You don't have to feel. Let us see. Okay, Nathan is showing again. Nathan, you have to say something so that it comes on the... Okay, so Bimandi has got the answer ln 2 minus 6. Is the answer ln 2 minus 6? Let's see. Now Nathan is showing. Uh, Nathan, can you, can you speak something? Then your, 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 um, uh, this thing will come bigger. Otherwise, I can't see you. Hello. Ah, okay, wait. No. Okay, so ln e equals one ten minus five. Okay, so Hapi's answer is right. Uh, Bimandi, it's one minus five point three one. So Bimandi said it's ln two minus. It is ln two minus six. Yes, Bimandi, you are right too. So finally, it's minus five point three one. That's two three significant figures. Good. Did everyone get that? And what is uh, what Nathan is showing? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Very good, very good. Okay, so let me quickly, uh, now can everyone, other, uh, others, can, can you all like respond uh, to me and say whether you got it? Got it. Got it, now everyone, right. So final answer is, if I quickly do it, if I quickly show you, if I quickly show you, you take ln on both sides, let me add it here itself, ln on both sides and ln two, and then t plus six comes in front. Uh, ln e equals ln two. You have to know immediately here, this is just one. Ln e is one, okay? So it's t plus six equals ln two. t is ln two minus six. That is minus whatever, whatever that you got. I can't remember now, okay? That number, whatever that number is. Very good, okay. Uh, shall we just quickly do one more? Now you are seeing my cracked uh, table top. Okay, here's example three. No, not three, it's four. Example four. 10 to the power of five minus X is equal to eight. Solve. I'm just, I'm just getting you to practice applying ln or log to solve these equations. Uh, your exam questions might look, teacher, can you show it again? Of course, sure, sure, Dineta, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. That's the equation, no? That's the full equation, no? 10, uh, that's it, that's it. 10 yeah. power 10 5, power five uh, minus five x, x equals 8. Equal, yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll work on it.
Okay. Did it? You have any questions, did it? Please ask if there is anything. Does everyone understand why this is one? Lon E is one. You're welcome, Dinet. I hope that is clear. Please don't hesitate to stop me or disturb me if you want to ask anything. Okay, that's what needs to happen here. I want you to disturb and ask me things. That's what I want you to do. Uh, so the answer to this, you can just ah, okay. Uh, Okay, Bimandi got 2.92. So let me write it somewhere here. Is x equal to 2.92? This is Bimandi's answer. Is it? Can someone. Uh, okay, Nathan, is, Nathan will turn it. Is it 2.92? I don't think so. Not 2.92. 4.09. Is it 4.0? Ah, okay, that's what you got. So Tarindu, Tarindu and Nathan has got 4.09. Let's check whether uh, why that is wrong. So what you will do is, you know, because the base is 10. I'll turn off my video. Yeah, sure. Uh, because the base is 10 here, it, it would be faster if you take log base 10. But let's stick to learn. Let's stick to learn. Then you get phi minus x comes in front ln 10 equals ln 8. Uh, I can do 5 minus x equals ln 8 over ln 10. Uh, x is equal to x goes to this side and this comes to this side. So that is x is equal to 5 minus ln, 10, ln 8 over ln 10. So this is what it is. Is it, is it this one or this one? I think it is 4.09. Bibandi, where had you gone wrong? Miss, I haven't divided from long term. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, now I want to show you, let me just move this a little up. I want to show you what will happen if you, if you do. This is what you had. Let me take log. Log means base 10. Remember, okay, I'm not putting a base here means I'm taking log 10. Right, then 5 minus x comes in front. This is log 10 is equal to log 8. See how easy this is. This is equal to what? Log 10 is equal to what? Log 10 means log base 10, 10 is equal to 1. This is a log rule. So that makes your lives so much uh, better. Still you would get the same answer. So x is equal to 5 minus log 8. This would give the same answer as, as this. As this. So I think this is the answer, 4.09. Sasindu, I don't have the cal. I need to buy one because I failed. You left it in Sri Lanka. Huh? It, no, it's okay. If you can do up to this step, that is fine. Actually, we should leave our answer at that step because all these answers are irrational numbers. So when you find it, you, when you compute it using the calculator, it's giving you that um, never-ending decimal number. So that is not exact. Um, okay, so it's fine. Excuse to me, miss. Yes, Nathan. Who left? Uh, who left the calculator in Sri Lanka? Sasindu is in. Uh, Sasindu is in. I forgot. Italy. No. Yes, I, I remembered. Sasindu is joining us from Italy. Y'all didn't know that. Is it? I need pizza. Oh wow! We need, wow. Yes, we need pizza. Can we? <laughs> oh, a pasta. You know, you need to bring us uh, stuff. Okay. Lucky. Uh, Lucky. <laughs> Okay, so bring me tobler on. Uh, right now we are going to go and see exam type questions. 
where you have to solve equations with exponents. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. Miss your uh, yeah, yeah, I got stuck. I got stuck. I'm waiting until I'm unstuck. Okay, the black box is there again. I'm back, right? Yeah. Okay, you can see You're me. Back. You can hear me? Miss is back. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you, Miss, but your video is lagging. It's fine. Just, just, just don't, oh, we can see don't, the screen. Don't pay attention to the, my, my video then. Okay, now you write exam questions and let's look at some exam type questions, okay? These, are, these can be a little different, but you have to... Uh, let's see, let's see, I will, let me not say anything. So let's look at this question. You will have to copy this first. You have uh, to- Miss, shall I copy this in the theory book or the question book which, we, which I have? Theory book. Okay. Okay, first copy the question, which has two parts. Okay. Let me know if you are done copying. Wow, you got the answer, Malik. I don't have the answer. I have, I don't have the answer. Uh, let me see, yeah. So part one, what, uh, what's, what, happens, what happened to part one? This, you will see, this is actually a, a quadratic in disguise. Did it turn into a quadratic in disguise? Malik? When you, when you make this little, like a, it's like a substitution. Yes, miss. Did you get a quadratic in this guy? Yeah, uh -huh. giving quadratic. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then your answer must be right. Then you should, shouldn't you get two on giving your answers? Yeah, I said plus or minus. Ah, oh, plus or minus, okay. <laughs> you did. Let's wait for one more person to finish. So your quadratic is... Uh, 
uh, answer Uh, I don't think your answers are right, Malik. No, your answers are not, uh, not right. Did everyone do part one? Has everyone copied? Can I change the screen to the uh, writing pad? Okay. So now I hope everyone has copied the question. I'm going to the, uh, I need to copy it. <laughs> wait, wait. Mm, express this in terms of y, where y is to the power of x. Okay. So, um, and then, Okay, so I'm going to the going to this. Uh, the first part, the first part, you have to express four to the power of x in terms of y, in terms of y. They've given you that y is equal to what have they given you? y is equal to 2 to the power of x okay so what should you try and do now this is you have to express this in terms of 4 to the power of x you have to express in terms of y this is y okay so you have to uh, embed 2 to the power of x here. What can you do? You can write 4. You can write 4 as 2 to the power of 2. That is 4. Okay, I wrote 4 as 2 to the power of 2. And then here's my x outside. Then I can, I can change those two if I want, right? I can write this as 2 to the power of x. To the power of 2. I, I swapped the 2. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Why? If I simplify this, I get 2 to the power of 2x. This is also 2, this is also 2 to the power of 2x. I need to multiply these two. Right? Now, this is y. So, this is y squared. So, 4 to the power of x, I have now written in terms of y. 4 to the power of x is y to the power of 2, y squared. Ah, okay. So, uh, Malik, Tarindu also got the same answer as, as what you got. So, maybe it is right. Let's see. Okay. Now, that's the first part. Then the second part, you are given this equation. Now, you have to solve this equation. Hence, meaning you have to use this to solve what is given in the second part. You have 3, 4 to the power of x, minus 10, Then 2 to the power of x plus 3 equals 0. Okay, so I have now, I know that this is just y squared and this is just y. So this becomes 3 y squared minus 10 y plus 3 equals 0. It turns out to be a quadratic. Okay, so this is a quadratic, it's something that you can turn into a quadratic. So it's a quadratic in disguise. If you remember what, that, that type that we learned in P1 first topic, quadratics. Now this is just O-level work, you have to solve this quadratic. So three times two, that's uh, nine factors of nine to get minus 10, that is three y squared minus nine y minus y plus three equals zero. 
uh, you can take a three y out y minus three take a minus one out y minus three is equal to zero then you get three y minus one times y minus three equals zero you get three y minus one equals zero y minus three equals zero this is y equals one third this is y equals three now we are solving for x so what is y what is y y is two to the power of x let me bring that here y is two to the power of two to the power of x is equal to one third i have to solve two equations here this is two to the power of x equals three this is where you need to use a log to bring the x down right so if you take ln of this ln of that i will do both simultaneously ln of this ln 3 i am going to get x ln 2 equals ln 1 third so let me finish solving that x is equal to x is equal to ln 1 third divided by ln 2 whatever that is you have to find the answer using a calculator okay and then here here uh, x ln 2 equals ln 3 x is equal to ln 3 over ln 2 whatever that is equal to is that clear everyone So, which answer you get from? So, what is this equal to? And what is that equal to? Uh, miss. Yeah. Miss. Yes. Yes, Nathan. Uh, I'm uh, <clears throat> a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. Where? Where are you confused? Where? 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 Tell me where. Tell uh, from the. Wait. Okay, I got it. 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 Okay. 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 I, I now understood. Can it just takes me a few. Uh, it just fine. takes me a few seconds to under, understand. It's fine, Nathan. We all need few seconds to understand. I need. Me? I need few minutes to understand when I learn something for the first time. Yes. Miss, I don't understand how ln one over three is equal to ln three. Yeah, L I had the same thing too. What? Ln 1 over LN 3? Ln 1 over 3 is equal to Ln 3. Oh, no, uh, but just the no, sign. No, just okay. Sign. Oh, wow. Okay. Remember this? You are wondering how you get the same answer. This is 1.5. Let me show you. Do you remember? I'm going to change the uh, page. No, no. Let me write it here itself. Ln 1 over 3 is same as negative ln 3. How? Ah, oh, the inverse. Ah, oh, you get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because minus. one over three, you can write as three to the power of yes, minus yes. one, and then the minus one comes in front. Nice, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone has any question from that? Please ask. Don't just copy my work. That's not how this this has to happen. Okay. Don't just copy my the work that I did. You have to understand. You have to ask questions like, like you know, like the uh, what Malit and uh, Tarindu were asking because you got the same answer just with a difference in the sign. That that means the because it's the same thing. Lon two, lon two on the uh, denominator here. Numerator lon three here. Numerator lon one over three to get the same answer. That is because lon one over three is minus lon three. Make sure that you understand this also, right? Here. Just for, just for your understanding. That's why, I don't know which, have I written the answers right? Is this the plus one and that's, that's in the minus one? One over three is minus. Ah, this yeah, is the minus. This is the minus one. This is the plus answer. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's go and see this next, uh, next. Uh, first, next exam question. If no one has any more questions from that, okay. Uh, before you, not this one, wait, I'll show you. Can you do this? This number three, this one, number three here. 
this one okay copy that first so it starts with the modulus equation and part 2 is hence uh, you have a inequality with an uh, with an index term Just copy and you all can start solving the first part because you know how to do that. Miss, which question again? Third one. Oh, this okay. is not, I mean, you put uh, number two or something now. This. This three means it's the these are taken from past papers. It's the third question in that particular paper. Ah, uh, miss. Uh, speaking yeah. of past papers, the uh, do do you have a uh, this thing uh, like those tutu give for each unit? Yes. 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 Uh, so for the algebra, I have to give you algebra one and uh, logarithms one. Um. Uh. Yeah, the thing is, there is a small issue there. Um, let me uh, let you let me um, resolve that issue and send you the uh, booklets. Okay. Also, while you copy this, uh, we have to discuss. We have to discuss a, an extra date. For mechanics, we have to start mechanics, and mechanics has to go parallel. We can't um, uh, like we can't do like one day PO, one day mechanic. You can't do like that. The PO has it has to go parallel with this. So at the end of today's class, we have to fix another time for mechanics. From August, we will start mechanics. Okay. Done copying, right? Right. Can I change the screen to the writing pad? Okay, so Hatfi has the answers. I don't have the answers, Hatfi. Have to wait. Let's see. First one, what are your answers? Part one. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Hatfi. Uh, then the second part. Now I'm going to go to the uh, writing pad, everyone. I hope you have written everything. Okay. This is the first part. You have a modulus inequality. You should not square this to get rid of the modulus. That is not necessary. Because this is just a number, you know what this means. This means, this means y minus. Uh, okay, if if you, if you like, just if you if you just think about it, what this is saying is that the distance from y to five must be less than one. Let me show on a number line. This is very easy to just. Uh, 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 reason out you can reason out the answer if this is five uh so six seven 
four three. Your y. This means distance from. This means distance from y to five is less than one. Where can your y be? Where can it be? Anywhere here. You just think about it. You can just reason about it. I mean, you, I didn't do anything. I just drew a picture, and I can see that my answer is y has to be y has to be less than six or greater than four. That's where y can be, where y can sit on the number line. Okay, that's the first part answer. If you if you want to do it algebraically without drawing something like this. How you would approach it is so you would say this is what is given to you. You know that we 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 did the uh, properties of inequalities. What this means is that this is between one and minus one. Then you are solving for y. Get rid of minus five by adding a five. Minus one plus five is four. This plus five is just y. One plus five is six. You still get the same answer. Okay, hope that is clear. And then the second part you have. Where is the second part? Huh. Second part you have. This. Now, if you compare that with what you solved in part one, in part one you solved this, and you got an answer, this. Now, compare this with what you have here. You have the same thing, except y is replaced with three to the power of x. So you don't have to solve this again. You can just use this solution, isn't it? Now, this is what y is here. So this means 3 to the power of x is between 4 and 6. Now, what is x between? x is between what and what? What should you do here? What should you do here? Take log throughout. Take log throughout. This is an inequality. Take log. So you get log 4, log 3 to the power of x, log 6. Solving inequalities is the same as solving equations. You just you can do whatever you do as long as you do to everything throughout, right? This is a double inequality, so still it's the same. We are, you are familiar with this. Uh, now this is log 4. X, x comes, x comes down, you get x log 3 log 6. Now what do I do? I want to get an inequality for x. I need to isolate x here. It's like trying to solve, right? I need to isolate x here. I divide everything by log 3. I divide by this. So log 4 divided by log 3. I get my x there, log 6 divided by log 3. That's your answer. And I hope this is uh, 1.262. And this is 1.631. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, good. Did everyone understand? Did I do it too fast for anyone to understand? I have a huge problem here. I'll tell you what my huge problem is. I only get feedbacks from, uh, thank you, Hatfi. I get from Hatfi. He, he makes sure he drops a message. So he's, he's in touch with me. By, by, he's communicating by message. Malit is talking to me, Nathan is talking to me, Tarindu is also talking to me. So I 
I get their feedback. I know they are with me. I know they got it. The rest of you, I don't hear from you. Thank you, Sasindu. Sasindu got it too. Others, especially the girls, I, I don't hear from you at all. So I don't know whether you are getting this or whether you have fallen asleep, whether you've gone somewhere, whether you're not in your seat. Thank you, Nethni. Some feedback like that, okay? Just talk with me. Okay, Bimandi, okay. Uh, Joanne, Kavindi, okay. Right, shall we do like one more or let's look at the next question, next exam type question. Can you do this number two here, this two? So you have to put three. This is the third exam question. Okay, Joanne, thank you. You're copying this, this particular question, okay? The, the number two question, it's your third question. So use logarithms to solve the equation. This, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. This is, this can be a little tricky. You try it, you start. Okay, hope you have started. Let me change the screen. I will go to the writing pad. Okay, so that's your question. What's the first step? Take log, go along on both sides. Okay, so. Right. Now be, here you have to be careful, on the left hand side, no problem, that x would come down, you get x ln 4. What about here, there is a 2 times 3 to the power of x, this is 2 times, right? Multiply out the brackets. You can, what, what do you mean, you can't multiply out the bracket. Right? Log 2 into log 3x. No, log, log 2 plus log 3x. Very good. Very good. You remember this rule? You remember this rule? Log A plus log B is log, I'm sorry, I have no space there, A times B. This, this works both ways. If you have two, two separate log terms, the sum of two separate log terms, that can be simplified into this. Or vice versa. If you have log of a product, it can be sep broken, like separated as a sum of log A plus log B. So this is like your A, this is like your B. You have a product of two times three to the power of X. It's like log AB. So that you can simplify as ln three, sorry, ln two plus ln three to the power of X. That step is very important. I hope you, this is like your A, this is like your B in this. Okay. So I did ln A plus ln B. Now, now that X can be brought to the front here. So I will do that in the next step. X ln 4 equals ln 2 plus X 
ln 3. Now I have x in two of the terms. This term and this term, I will collect them on one side. x ln 4 minus x ln 3 equals ln 2. Then I will take the x out, factor it out. That gives me ln x times ln 4 minus ln 3 equals ln 2. Then x is ln 2 divided by ln 4 minus ln 3, whatever that is. You have to give your answer to three significant figures. Miss found the answer. What is it? Uh, 2.41. 2.41. Okay, Harindu confirms. Okay, good. Okay. Everyone okay with that? Good. Uh, shall I go back to the questions? Does anyone want me to stay on the screen for a little bit more? Okay, I can go back. I'm going back. This last one, number one. It's not the last one. This number one. That is your fourth question. Fourth exam question. Copy number one there. Given that. One point two five to the power of x equals two point five to the power of y. Use logarithms to find the value of x over y. Find x over y. Not to find what x is equal to and y is equal to. You can't find two unknowns from one equation. We have to find the ratio between x and y. x divided by y. x upon y. So you have to make a term like that. So I will let you work on it first. Okay, Harindu has an answer, 4.11. Let's see. Okay, confirmed, 4.11. I will go to the... Uh, Writing pad. Okay, that's your question. So if I start 1.25 to the power of x is equal to 2.5 to the power of y, you take ln on both sides. So this comes to the front x, ln, I'm just putting a bracket because it's a decimal number y ln 2.5 i need x over y now so uh, divide by y and take this here ln 2.5 over ln 1.25 right i kind of i divided both sides by y that's how the y came here and also i divided both sides by ln 1.25 i know you you uh, uh, yes Tarindu, what's your request Do after exams? When are your exams? Uh, 
You say after exams finish? When Miss, are your exams Miss, finish? my exams are on the first week of August. Again. Are over? I have to ask the others. Ah, okay. Uh, so you had your exams? So you had online exams? Yes, Miss. We uh, we had our online exam second term, and again we're gonna have our third term exam on the first week of August. Uh, so for Nathan, for exams are Nathan and Kavindi. Exams are finishing when? That means uh, that means we don't know when it will finish, but but they said that they were gonna start on the first week of August. And you are starting uh, on the first week of August. Uh, others? Yes, Miss. Others at Lyceum? So we don't like have a. They, they send us papers. Huh? Uh, they send our exam papers and we just have to do them. We don't have like a serious exam going on. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, so uh, did that start? Yeah, yeah, it started. Uh, when, uh, when do you have to submit your paper? You don't have to submit. Ah, okay. You just they, do it. Send, uh, they give us the marking schemes and then uh, and they also uh, do online paper correction. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, so, Tarindu wants, wants more homework. Or I, I would love to give you more homework. Uh, uh, wait. <coughs> so, that means, how, wait, how are you all getting the marks in Malaysia? In so, Hatsi exams are over. See you for us, exams are on Monday. They don't like take the marks. They don't put it to a to a report. They just wait, wait. so you all submit. You all don't submit the answers on a given time. Like there's a time limit. No, they no, do the there's exam. Nothing, there's nothing like really. They just uh, okay. we, they have, we had they have that time table. Okay, Nathan. Yeah. They have a timetable and they just uh, sub they submit the paper on that day, but not like exactly on the time. Uh, now, Hatsri, Hatsri is asking, at Gampa, we have limited time. Okay. Anyway, Hatsri is reminding that, yeah, we should have a test. I do, I, we, we can't do online tests. That's the thing. You, I, it's a failure. You, that's, Miss, you can't do online the tests. online test is really hard. Not that I mean, it's not really hard. You, uh, no, miss, <laughs> I, the, the thing is, Miss, I lost a lot of marks okay. for my second term exam because of the diagrams, Miss. I couldn't draw any diagram at all. Uh, so yeah, so if they, they, you, don't like, they don't send you like a, a hard, soft copy of the paper for you to print and do or something, or no. at least to write in no. your book. Okay, no. okay, we don't, no. we don't, no, they don't. Nathan, Nathan, wait, we don't, we don't, I uh, uh, online exams are not not a successful, successful way of um, performing they, tests. Uh, so but if you need a test and if you Give me your word that you will do it honestly as a test. Um, <laughs> I don't think that will happen. I can't, not that I don't trust you, but when you do it at your own convenience, at, at leisurely at home, it, it won't. There's always, the there's I, always someone who is going to break the yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not purposely, but you know, things, uh, things will happen like that. I know. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we will do revision. Yes. Are you actually, now, thank you Sasindu for bringing that up. I want to start doing full P1 papers. We, we have to do P1 papers. Can I, can, can we do this now? This we did with the last batch. Can we, uh, why, uh, while we do the uh, lesson, P1 in the in the P1 class on Saturdays. For homework, can I give you one full P1 paper every week? Yeah, that's better. That's that's good. That's not too much for oh, you. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. It's not, it's not a test. You do. You take your time and you do it. So it will be a revision for you. You look okay. at your notes and do it. And then uh, uh, every. Uh, oh, that's better. Next, that's way really better. The next week, I will uh, give you the answers and you can correct it. Okay, okay. So today I will send you your first practice paper P one. That's that's nice. Yeah, you can do that. Not a test, just division, division for you. Okay. So uh, what's the answer here? You got? I I forgot now. One point four four something. That answer. Okay. Then 
let me go back to this four point one one thank you kavindi four point one one uh we have this went up sorry um one more i want you to do this long question this fifth question copy this this is your this is your actual fifth question and it is number 5 this fifth question can you quickly copy that Hope you are done copying. i'm going to change the uh, screen so this is part 1 so they have already given you kind of a substitution like a relabeling you have to relabel 2 to the power of x in your equation by with y you relabel uh, so here i have a 2 to the power of x here it's 2 to the power of minus x first let me write this in terms of 2 to the power of x so 2 to the power of x plus how do i write this as 3 to the 2 uh, to the power of x this is 1 over 2 to the power of x equals 4 now i can simply replace 
this with the y and this with the y okay so that that will look like y plus 3 over y equals 4 now what now they had given me something to turn this into it has it had y squared if i multiply to get rid of this y in the bottom if i multiply everything by y i get y squared plus this y will cancel uh, 3 equals 4y bring everything to one side y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0 is that is this what they had what they had okay then hence solve the equation so Hatfi has x equals 0 and x equals 1.585 so let's see this is a quadratic uh, plus 3 minus 3 minus 1 right so you get y equals 3 and y equals 1 what is y y is 2 to the power of x equals 3 2 to the power of x equals 1 you have to solve these two this is where you use log to bring the x down ln ln 3 ln that's ln 1 sorry about my uh, ugly ln 2 equals ln 3 that is x is equal to ln 3 over ln 2 whatever that is and then here x ln 2 equals ln 1 x is equal to ln 1 over ln 2 whatever that is equal to you don't get zero no Miss, did I make a mistake? Miss, yes, Miss, can we apply this uh, ln o mm -hmm. log to the first equation itself and then find the answer for x? Where to what equation? The Miss first, uh, the equation in terms of x 2 to the power x Here? plus 3 over 2x. Here, this one, yeah, over uh, there. In you can't. Why is that? You, you do it, try it and see. And that is why they I tried. I tried and I get log 2 minus what? log 2 and, and that becomes 0. X oh. get. No, wait, X I'll, becomes... show you. I'll, I'll show you. So if you just use this, okay, let me write that 2 to the power of X. 2 to the power of X. 2 to the power of X. Now, in this question, you can't do it anyway because they want you to use that and solve. But just to answer your question, whether it, it is possible, let's see. I don't, it doesn't look to, look to me that it is going to be possible. Let me see. So this is what you have. You can't take log now. What if we talk, take log now? You, you want to take log as it is? You want to take log now? Yeah, nothing will happen. You can't do anything. If I take log on both sides, ln of this, ln 4. That's how you do it. Like you take log on both sides. There is yes, no way I, I made that, a mistake. Yeah. There is I, took log, I took log to each and every term. That's wrong, right? Yeah. So you, you, there is no way of simplifying this. That's the problem. You, you can take log. You can do this. This is fine. But it doesn't take us anywhere. After that, what? Can't do anything. I, I have no rule to simplify this. Ln of something plus something. No, I don't have a rule to simplify that or, you know, um, do anything with it. So that's why that is not possible. So... What are the two answers here? These two answers? Miss, the answers are 1.58. Uh, no, one one? What is this one? Uh, that one is uh, 1.58. Mm -hmm. And the other one is 0. Oh, this is 0? Yeah. Bindu. Lon 1 over lon 2. I wonder why that is 0. Okay. 
Um, right. Okay. Now let's quickly start that last topic in uh, in logarithms. Let me quickly show you this. I want to always. I want you to have a keep an eye on the content in the syllabus. Uh, so some more inequalities like this, I will give you give for homework today. Right now, I will give it right now. Otherwise, I forget. Uh, in your book, in your books. Miss, can you send that in the group? To send that now. Now the thing is, right now I can't send it because this uh, this uh, writing pad is work that is happening on my um, phone. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the setup here? Would you like to see what? You will laugh. You will laugh. Yeah, not bad. Nice innovation. Okay, those are two Pringles uh, containers, and then I have two. Um, I have two. Um, uh, Miss, you're one step away from creating your YouTube channel. I know, right? I exactly. Know. I know, right, Malit? Thank you. Life hacks. Life hacks. Thank you for the encouragement. Okay. Uh, oops. Can you? Now I so I since that the phone is there I can't. And that's what Doctor Gaya, the YouTube channel. This is what you have to do. <laughs> Thank you, Malit. Yes, that's a, that's a nice name. Uh, this this is what you will have to do. Can you find it in your books? Now in my book it's page twenty nine, exercise two a, question number six. I will write it in the chat here for everyone to see. If you have your textbooks, this Miss, is uh, I don't. Miss, I don't have a mechanics textbook. I will. I will send you the picture now. right now. I can't do it. Question number. Okay. Okay. That's the that's the uh, question I wanted to do. I'm just showing you here how it looks like. This question. Okay. Uh, right, we are going to start this last point, last bullet point, last bullet point. Use logarithms to transform a given relationship to linear form and hence determine unknown constants by considering the gradient and or intercept. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Put your, la uh, put your uh, last topic under logarithms. The topic is topic is I can go I go to this. Oh, why waiting? My connection is gone. Why is it gone? Hmm. I will write. Okay, let's not waste time thinking why that is gone. I'm going to just use it, use the document. Okay. Uh, let's do from here. Let's do from here. I take a new page. Okay, your topic is your topic is using log. That means logarithms. Log is the shorter way of saying logarithms. So using logarithms to turn curved graphs into straight line graphs. Okay. Okay, using log to turn curved graphs into straight line graphs. Uh, miss, your yeah. exercise two A Q six is not the same as ours. Okay, what is your uh, question number? Must be the same exercise two A. Eh? Uh, question six. It's a, it's an exponential graph question. Okay. Uh, in Are music. You... The notes in the middle of cave eight. Oh, no, 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 not, not that. Then, then, can you find this? You, you would have this somewhere. 
these are inequalities hold on miss yeah can you show it again a bunch of inequalities exponential inequalities there is uh, exercise 2b uh, part 7 solve mm -hmm. these inequalities and what's then there's the, what's the first one read the first one uh, 2 to the power x is less than 128 that's right that's the one that's the one can you put that in the chat for everyone okay. page number exercise number and the uh, question number thank you malik exercise 2b question number 7 if you have the uh, 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 green book okay now using log to turn curved graphs into straight line graphs so that's like that's like that like, that sounds like magic you are turning something into something else using log you wave the wand the 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 log wand and um, turn a curve graph into a straight line graph okay See, that's exactly what we are doing like something like that um we are going to learn how we can change two types of graphs which are curved if you graph like a function which has a curve curve graph how we can turn that into a straight line by using log i will tell you where this is used why why are we even doing that okay why we want to turn a curve graph into a straight line why we do that when you like in other um, uh, fields of study like in maybe physics or biology or in chemistry we something that we often do is investigating how quantities are related we try to see how this depends on this so you do an experiment and you take some uh, observation some data and you plot uh, plot them and graph them you must be familiar with this you want you must be doing this in your practical you take temperature readings against some other readings and you take a bunch of readings and you plot them and see how they what the connection between them is and you try to fit a you try to find the relationship between these two physical quantities so a common relationship that uh, that happens to have between physical relationships in many different fields are there are two types of relationships one is a power relationship the other one is an exponential relationship i will tell you what that means now let me try going back to my no i think my this things stopped working what i we can so i have to go to the um the board the white board uh okay this where did you get the camera from it's not a it's a software it's called iv cam you have to install it in your phone and also in your laptop then when you open that Uh, it's an app. Okay, when you open that app, oh, so that's like the phone. Thing, that's the phone, phone about your book. That's right. It's the phone uh, about it. the phone camera. Yeah. That's um, awesome. That's awesome, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me just take this away. Right. So um, we find that. lot of physical uh, quantities in real life are related um, as a power function or an exponential function now what do i mean by that first let me write that i said they are related say i say you 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 are trying to find the relationship between some two physical quantities let me indicate them with y and x that's the usual two things that we take y is your independent quantity it depends on x some quantity it can be distance and time they are not related uh, in a power relationship but uh, so uh, say you want to find how x and y are related one way they can be related is as a power function okay that means it takes the form y is equal to there might be some coefficient in front x to some power let me say power b so this form this is a power function like 2x cube 3x to the power of 4 you know a and b are some two numbers a is the coefficient b is the power 
This is called a power function. Can be a square function, cube function, a quartic function, x to the power of three, x to the power of four, something like that. Okay. So uh, um, the graph of these functions is a curve. You know, like if you think of when b is two, it's a parabola. If when b is three, it goes like that, like a panua, like an S. Yes, it's a curve. Other type of relation that you uh, find a lot in uh, in practical applications is exponential function, exponential relationship. Let me let me write here a power function of power relationship. Power let me just say power relation. It's power relationship. Okay. Uh, I have to minimize this a little. The other one is exponential relationship. Oh my God! Look at that. Uh, <laughs> it's not working. It stopped working. I don't know why. Let me try. Let me see why that stopped working. You don't like the whiteboard, no? Ah, uh, you know what? My battery has died. Oh, uh, wow. power bank. I uh, I don't have a power bank, but I can charge it. But there's no time to do that. Let's just manage. Yeah, it's okay. Let's just stick with this. Next that. time, I will make sure that I charge this hundred percent. Okay. Um, so exponential. Uh, so there, there can be a relation that is exponential. Here, the relation is it's as a power. What does? What's the difference between these two? This goes like this. Y is equal to some coefficient a. There might be a coefficient in front, and then I'm putting a bracket just to make sure that this is you can see it separately. X is in the power. That's what. That's what. That's when we call exponential, right? You you know this. Exponential function is when you have your x in the power. Okay, so this type of a relationship is called an exponential relationship between x and y. Here, the relationship between x and y is a power relationship. Okay, hope that is clear. Y x here y x is in the power. This is called a power relationship. This is called an exponential relationship. Now the thing is this. The graphs of these relationships or, gra or graphs of these functions are curves. Now, in a real experiment, suppose you take now say some two quantities x and y have this relationship in this form. So you want to find what this constant a and b are. So you would take a set of values and you would plot a graph. You would you would uh, you would uh, you know pl plot your points and you see that maybe suppose it's a you you see that it's a it takes a Something like that. Now, from this graph, can you find what a and b are? From a curvy graph, a curvy graph doesn't give you any information. Doesn't give you, doesn't give you any, you know, anything that enables you to find calculate this a and b. Similarly, for a exponential, uh, for an exponential relationship, if you take some beadings between x and y and plot them, and plot them, they are going to go like that. And when you sorry, this goes like this goes like that. When you connect them, you you see it's an exponential curve. But the, from the graph, you can't find what a and b are. You're trying to find a relationship between these actual physical quantities. You can see that it's an exponential relationship. But is it two two three to the power of x? Is it five ten to the power of x? What what are these a and b? You can't find from the graph. But you know with straight line graphs. Look at a straight line graph. If if cert, if a certain relationship is a straight line relationship, if you have a linear relationship, sorry. Say if you. This what happened? Ah, okay, I'm back. Got stuck. I'm back, right? Ah, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. If you have a linear relationship. Sorry. Let me put a b or a b a x plus b something like that a linear relationship between a and x. You know the graph of this is a straight line. The graph of this so you will you will take some uh, x and y you will take x and y readings between x and y. You will you will plot you will plot them and then you see it's a straight line. It's a straight line and this from this straight line you can find both a and b, isn't it? B 
is this number where the line cuts the y-axis? That's, that's directly what B is. And the gradient, if you use the line to find the gradient, that's what A is. So a straight line lets you just calculate these numbers that are in the function equation. But for a, but for a um, curve, when, a, when you have a curve graph, you, you, the curve doesn't let you, I mean, the, nothing about the curve, no feature about the curve has any connection to these A and B numbers in the function equation, okay? So we can use log to turn these two types of relationships, these two functions, these curvy graphs into a straight line. When, uh, and after that we can find this A and B. So that's what we are going to see here. Okay, so I will show you how that is done. I wish we could use the um, one percent. It will go drop to one percent. Um, what I will do is okay. Shall we first write the little write the write a little note? I will go back to the. Um, I will go back to this. Okay. I will write with you. I will read. Um, write a little note of what we are going to do here. Okay, let's write together. In many fields, so I'm sure my typing speed is faster than your writing speed. In many fields. Miss. Yes. Miss. Uh, I just now got distracted. Uh, what's this? Uh, what's this uh, what's the topic, Miss? The topic you can see on the screen. Ah, okay. So if that happens on your side, if your connection drops, you just have to come back and then you you ask for the recording. I will send you the recording. But if we factorize a power function or complete square, it, it we can. That is, if it is only a quadratic. If it's a quadratic, yes. For any, I took a, the example I took was a parabola. That because that's that's the shape you know. For other higher powers, x cube. Yeah. Okay. So this works for any power function with any power there, this, this technique. Good question, Hathi. Okay, so in many fields, there are quantities, quantities that are physical quantities, okay? There are physical quantities. We are talking about actual, you know, this like temperature, density, pressure, um, heat, anything that you can, that is measurable. Quantities that are related oops related oops related to each other to each other we are a power relationship power relationship or an exponential relationship am i going too fast no. Make power uh, a different color and exponential a different color. In many fields, there are physical quantities that are related to each other. We are a power relationship, power relationship or, a, or an exponential relationship. Oops, not full stop, as below. Here's how a power relation look, relationship looks like. Y is equal to, if your two, if your, uh, two quantities are X and Y, Y is equal to capital A, I'll put this in a bracket, X to the power of capital B. Okay, this is um, where, where A and B are constants. This is a power relationship or power function. The other one is Y is equal to a b to the power of x x is in the power where a and b again where a and b are constants this is an exponential relationship exponential relationship Relationship. Have I written relationship? Since the graphs of these functions, since the graphs of these functions 
curves no feature no feature of the graph of the graph enables us to calculate calculate or find the constants a and b let's see this power in red exponential in red this relationship in red this relationship also in red highlight uh, things a and b however these curve graphs these curve graphs can be turned into now you might be thinking you know how we going to do this turned into straight ai ai gst straight line graphs of the form of the form what form y equals ax some mx plus c mx plus c mx plus c mx plus c by using log and then a and b can be found using the graph using the sorry using the gradient and intercept of these linear graphs or line graphs gradient let's give it a nice color um gradient intercept oops okay so this is very easy okay you just have to know how to turn those two types of relationships y equals a x a x to the power of b and y equals a b to the power of x these two types of functions how do you can turn them into something that looks like a straight line so that it represents a straight line graph um by using log so i will show you one let's start sorry let's uh, let's turn the so first let's see how to turn the power power relationship into a linear relationship okay this first one let's see how we transform or change or turn this prince into a frog or rather this frog into a prince okay now it's a frog U useless we're going to turn it into a prince uh so first okay you can put a bullet point or a subtopic let me put a bullet point we are going to turn a power relation to a turn turning turning a power relation ship into a linear linear relationship okay so write that and i will go to the uh, white board to show you how to do it can i change the screen uh, no miss i'm still writing okay you let me know when you're done miss can you uh, take it a little up i want to check my uh, this thing yeah huh? thank you okay okay
done? No, miss. Okay. Miss, now the subtopic sub and this subtopic is turning a power relationship into a linear relationship, no? Yeah. So there are two bullet points. The first one is the next one that will come up later is turning a turning an exponential relationship into a linear relationship. Okay, miss. Okay. Um, shall we continue or shall we stop? The time is up. We can we can stop stop right here and start start from this point next week. Or I can quickly show you how to do this. Uh, just just this one. No, I'll tell you. Let's we, we'll do it next week so I can do it on the writing pad better okay so this is where we are stopping uh, don't forget what we just discussed about this we are going to see how we can turn these two types of curvy relationships between x and y the power relationship and exponential relationship into a straight line linear relationship by using log the magic wand of log okay uh, let me stop sharing this oh, miss, uh, i saw yes. your videos on e on where? On uh, about old, older, so you ah, yes, the, yes. The e constant. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they were yeah, good. Right? Good, no? And uh, just for your information, that um, uh, Khalid, that second one I sent you, his name is Khalid, but I, I forgot his first name. Some uh, Khalid, um, somebody. Indian. Uh, he has a, he's Indian. Uh, um, he has, uh, so he has a, he, his YouTube channel is Better Explained, and he also has another website called Better Explained. If you want to uh, uh, like learn about something, go there and check for it. Mathemat mathematics, okay? BetterExplained.com, superb. Uh, and another that that um, other one is is also a good channel. Yeah, and that guy also, looks scary. Looks scary? No, he's cool. Who? No, and he Who? looks a little weird. Weird. Yeah. Who? You have to watch the two videos, Nathan, then you will understand. Okay, let's wrap this up.